Good morning, class 11th. This video is for you. Ranga's marriage. I have already given to you its first part. And now the second part. Now here, that is her parents. Her parents means that is Ratna's parents or Rama Rao's niece parents had died. And her uncle had brought her home. Ranga was just the boy for her and she the most suitable bride, bride for him. What the narrator thought over there that the parents were not there. Uncle was looking after and then Ratna was a nice girl and Ranga was a nice boy. So that would be a suitable match for each other. Since I was a frequent visitor to Rama Rao's place, the girl was quite free with me. I completely forgot uh, to mention her name, Ratna. It was the very next morning I went to their house and told Rama Rao's wife, I'll send some buttermilk for you. Ask Ratna to fetch it. This means like it means he used to go to Rama Rao's house. So Ratna was uh, familiar to him and uh, that is the narrator told uh, that is Rama Rao's wife that uh, that is he would send some buttermilk uh, through Ratna. So she supposed to send uh, it means the girl to him. Ratna came. It was a Friday, so she was wearing a grand sari. I told her to sit in my room and requested her to sing a song. I sent for Ranga. While she was singing the song Krishna Murti in front of my eyes, Ranga reached the door. He stopped at the threshold. He did not want the singing to stop, but was the curious to see the singer. Carefully, he peeped in. The light coming into the room was blocked and Ratna looked up and seeing a stranger there, they are abruptly stopped. Now when, that is that was a Friday and she was putting on beautiful sari, besides that one he asked her to sit down and sing a hymn. Hymn means, that is, it means bhajan, that is, hymn. And then she started singing Krishna Murti in front of my eyes. And at that time only Ranga came to his house and when he was standing there, the light blocked and due to that one, that is, she stopped singing because she had come to know that there was a stranger. And although that is Ranga wanted to hear that sweet uh, hymn. Okay. Suppose you buy the best quality mango, you eat it slowly, savoring its peel before biting into the juicy flesh. You do not want to waste any part of it before you take another bite. The fruit slips out of your hand and falls to the ground. And uh, how do you feel? Uh, Ranga's face showed the same disappointment when the singing stopped. Like here he is doing the comparison and he is telling over there that if, for example you just imagine that you are eating a mango and you are enjoying its that one the juice over there but if somehow it uh, falls down from the hand how a person feels bad same way when the, that is the uh, song uh, or the hymn that Ratna was singing it stopped all of a sudden then he also did not like it and he well, he became sad and that showed that is uh, like his face showed that disappointment. Now children next. Suppose you buy the best quality of mango. You eat it slowly savoring its peel before biting into the juicy flesh. You do not want to waste any part of it. Before you take another bite the fruit slips out of your hand and falls to the ground. How do you feel? Ranga's face showed the same disappointment when the singing stopped. I have explained to you up to here. You sent for me, he asked as he came in and sat on a chair. Ratna stood at a distance, her head lowered. Ranga repeatedly glanced at her. Once her eyes met and he looked very embarrassed. No one spoke for a long while. Like here, that is, he asked the narrator, that, uh, that is, did he call him over there and he sat on the chair. At that time, Ratna was standing with a distance and her face was dumb. It was uh, my coming uh, in that stopped the singing let me leave words mere words the fellow uh, said he would leave but did not make a move how can one expect words to match actions in these days of kaliuga then what the narrator is telling as the uh, that is the hymn stopped ratna stopped singing then he thought that was because of him only and uh, he told that he would like to leave but actually the narrator is telling he did not move he was saying only so there was difference in, in uh, that is uh, saying and doing. Ratna ran inside overcame by shyness. After a while Ranga asked who is that girl Swami. 
who is that inside the lion wanted to know and the he got a he goat who had taken shelter in the temple replied does it matter who i am i am a poor animal who has already eaten nine lions and i have vowed to eat one more tell me are you male or female the lion fled the place in fear it seems children here it is very weird comparison is being done that when the ratna went inside she became shy now here he asked about the girl now the narrator was telling over there that why he was asking that one because according to him that is that is the he goat who had taken shelter in the temple in replied then it means he is just doing the comparison he goat here it is mentioned to ratna okay and is telling over there why the ranga was interested in asking that one she didn't like that one and she was just telling here like here it is mentioned over there that is as uh, ranga is presented as the lion and now here through that one is telling if he was not interested in that one why he was taking interest in asking who she had been and that's why here the example it is being given very very weird example it is being given over here that uh, i had vowed to eat one more it means as if how the he goat would be able to eat but it is mentioned over there and then the one more would be there and now when she is when the go he goat told like that the lion ran away it means doesn't mean anything children here it means over there when he didn't get the answer then he he then he went out okay like the he goat i said what does it matter to either of us who she is it is the same thing over there because he was not interested in the marriage he was not uh, that is there then why was he asking who that girl was i am already married and you are in the marrying kind because he told over there that he was uh, already it means the narrator was married and ratan ranga was not interested in uh, the marriage as he had told to him before so he supposed not to ask about the girl and anything children the next very hopefully he asked she isn't married then his voice did not betray his excitement but i knew it was there she was married a year ago his face shriveled like a roasted brinjal after a while ranga left saying i must go i have work at home like here then he told over there that is that girl was married and so the excitement whatever he had to know about the girl that had gone and that thing could be noticed by the narrator okay i went to our shastri the next morning and told him keep everything ready to read the stars i'll come later i tutored him in all that i wanted him to say i found no change in ranga when i met him that afternoon what's the matter you seem to be lost in thought i said nothing nothing wrong believe me had it come let us go and see a doctor like here i went to our shastri the next morning in the morning the narrator went to shastri it means the person who tells about who had the knowledge of astrology and then he was just telling he told him the everything that he wanted ranga should get married to ratna and for that one he supposed to he would be bringing him in the evening and he supposed to ask certain questions and he supposed to answer whatever he was telling okay and then uh, what happened in the afternoon when he met ranga his mood was the same it means he was sad and when he asked what was the matter then he thought told over there that he had headache only and nothing else then he told okay he would take him to the doctor i have no headache i am very i am uh, my usual self it means there is no headache and i am like that only that mood was like that only i went through the same thing when the process of choosing a girl for me was going on but i don't think that that could be the reason for your present condition ranga stared at me come let us go and see shastri i suggested we will find out whether guru and shani are favorable for you or not now here then what happened then he told about his own experience and he told that when the girl that is suitable match for him was found over there the situation was the same that is he also had a headache and uh, that might be that only over there and let them go to shastri whether that is the horoscope was in his favor or not like guru and shani that is the horoscope or, or whether his uh, uh, kundali and uh, that was telling whether that was a suitable time for him for marriage or not ranga accompanied him without my any protest as soon as shastri saw me he exclaimed what a surprise shama 
haven't uh, seen you for a long time. Then here, when they went to Shastri, then he expressed his surprise and he told that he didn't meet the narrator for a long time. Shama is none other than your servant, the narrator of this tale. Now here, now the narrator, uh, that is, is telling over there that Shama is his own name only. It means that. I got angry and shouted, what, only this morning Shastri completed my, uh, my sentence. Uh, you finished all your work and are now free to visit me. Had he not done so, I would have routine. I ru I would have ruined our plan by busting like grains that are kept in the sun to dry. I was extremely careful for what I said afterwards. Shastri turned to Ranga. When did this young son of our accountant clerk come home? What can I do for him? It's very rarely that he visits us. Then after that one, it means they talked about that is because. Uh, that is uh, like and he told that only this morning and Shastri completed the sentence and he told that when you finished all your work and now you have got the time to visit him over there and then so that so their secret should not be out so the narrator didn't speak much. Then the Shastri then he looked towards Ranga and he told uh, expressed his surprise and he told that hardly uh, that is uh, he comes to their house it means to his house and then he asked the reason, uh, the purpose of visiting him. Take out your paraphernalia, our Rangappa seems to have something on his mind. Can you tell us what's worrying him? Shall we put your science uh, of astrology to the test? Then he told that bring paraphernalia means the things related to the horoscope. And he told that there were some problems to the Rangappa and he, was, he had some confusions. He was worried and so he brought there and let him see his horoscope and tell about him. There, are, there was authority in my voice as I spoke to Shastri. He took out two sheets of paper, some cowries and the book of Pamira leaves, saying, Ours is an ancient science aya, there is a story to it. But I won't tell you that story now. This is not the Harikatha, which allows you to tell a story within a story. You may get bored. I tell you, tell it to you some other time. Now here he is telling, there was, it means the narrator. He was showing his authority to the Shastri and he what was the Shastri did. He took out a sheet of paper, some cowries, it means the things, Pamira leaves over there to check the horoscope. And he told uh, to Ranga that it was very old science and uh, then, but he told that he won't tell here about that thing because it was not a story within a story over there. So he wanted to concentrate on the topic only. Shastri moved his lips fast as he counted on his fingers and then asked, what's your, what's your star? Ranga didn't know. Never mind, Shastri indicated with a shake of his head. He did some more calculations before saying in a serious tone, it's about a girl. I had been controlling my laugh. I, I was controlling my laughter all this while, but now I burst out laughing. I turned to Ranga exactly what I had said. Who is the girl? It was your humble servant who asked the question. Uh, Shastri thought for a while before replying. She probably has the name something found in the ocean, Kamla, maybe. Then after that one, after doing some, that one count reading of that one, moving his lips and looking, that is thinking about his stars and calculating something. And then he told that, he, that his headache or his problem was regarding a girl only. And at that time, the narrator felt like laughing because he was the one only who implanted all that, that what he's supposed to tell. And then he told over there, this time he told only that, uh, that is, uh, that who could, who might that girl be over there. And he told that girl's name supposed to start something that is found in the ocean. That now it might be Kamla, the name. Now children here, the explanation of part two is over. Okay, children, now you just go through that one and you will just see it is a simple story and you will understand easily. Okay, children, bye. Take care.